Welcome, welcome to another DVD review. Again, we are outdoors uh, from my from from my uh, yeah, at my home in Australia. Uh, yep, the nice birdie. But this one, but this DVD, this is another anime DVD review. Uh, I am. This DVD review is on. <coughs> Yeah. Sorry for, for, I'm just trying to get through my head how to say it without having, it, it, if you say it fast enough it's like a tongue twister but, let me see, Black Blood Brothers, yep, Black Blood Brothers, that's what the this review is on, the complete series. Eternal Rowan Ronin Final Vengeance, that's what it has at the back here. It's about uh, Jiro and his little brother Kotaro. Well, for the first few episodes, well, it is a 12 episode. It's complete twelve episodes of uh, the this vamp this vampire trying to with well, a couple episodes it, they're trying to get into this location called the special zone. It's a recruit. I want what well, I want. To, it is uh, is built to house different grades of vampire. One group of vampires. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I just seen behind me, and as you would have seen that. Black <laughs> oh, there you are. A uh, a blackbird. I have here we call them magpies. Was oh, that was weird. We that's the first first thing they have uh, something in the background going fly <laughs> flying by, but back to the uh. Back to the DVD at hand. I've watched it uh, two times in, in its entirety since Friday, Friday of last. <laughs> Outside noises. This is what the. Uh, this is what it looks like. Mm, cool. I should have done that. All right. All right. Uh, this is Jiro, by the way, and there is his little brother, Kotaru, as you see, a sword, and a sword made from silver. Uh, it, uh, in some sense, you can say he is like a Jew. <laughs> he is a um. If 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 you watch comedy and that, and comedi uh, Jewish comedians that would brag out on Jew Jews and being Jewish, he hates um. Uh, according to the storyline, uh, vampires and humans have like a bit of a code, you know. Vampires just feed upon the humans, just it, just to, you know, just for just to eat. But yet they can eat other things too, like you know, like like a pie, like you know, sweet cakes and drink tea and eat uh, those eat you know little uh, meatballs and skewers. I was like, well, that that actually made me think. That actually made me go, wow, vampires eat human like human food. That really surprises surprised the hell out of me. What got me? What got me uh, interested in it? It was a robe. It was Jiro's robe, and and the and the, and he's like, 
and his goggles. Uh, let me see if, he, if, if the camera can pick this up. Where my finger is pointing. The goggles there. Oh, his little brother too. Much more clearer. It reminds me of steampunk. Uh, it is a uh, fashion style where you look back into like the Victorian era and the you know the wild you know pew pew cowboy wild wild you know wild wild west era. But think of that in that time period. Think about what's going to be happening in the future. It's like science fiction meets Victorian and cowboy eras. You know melding together into one conglomerate of beautiful art work and beautiful uh, in beautiful fashion <laughs> the also the outfit this, just like the whole let me see that's the outfit itself the sword I, as I said uh, I'm a huge sword lover I'm more of a sword lover than a gun lover yeah cowards use guns real real men use swords oh is this my next my next door neighbor going out for yeah you know, going out to have something to do but that's beside the point uh, the, oh there are some epic battles in here but in this vampires and humans have something have an enemy in common it is a vampire hybrid in in the story here it, well in on the story well in this story and oh by the way three disc set and it's a, and it has 12 episodes so four episodes of disc you will not be disappointed As I said, there's some epic battles in here. Just by getting into the secret, into the special zone, and defending the special zone against this. Uh, was well in among the story when a vampire, you know, as you can see there, that's my bottom teeth. I can't. I don't know. Just admiring my um, bite mark. Huh, neighbors. Uh, oh. Dang. Can't get. Can't get my fangs to be to show up a good bite mark. But as you can see from. Uh, where in the hell is that? Bite mark. Mm. I'm not. I'm not being. I mean, uh, kind of sure that. That's just, well. As you go, yeah. When the when this vampire bites you, you don't become a vampire. It's not easy. They they've gone away from the tradition where where if a vampire. You know, sinks his teeth in like six. You know, sinks your teeth in your neck or any body part. You don't turn into a vampire. It's unless you drink their blood, but you you have to give them permission to give you their blood, so you can become a vampire. That is. That is, that, that's like a what I call a beautiful uh, c scenario, but the difference. That, but yet in that one, but in the story, there is a like a higher breed of vampire where if they bite you, you turn. That's the only the tradition thing where they keep in. 
just for one group class of vampire. And to let me just read it out. Let me see. Do 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 do. The Kowloon, the Kowloon clan, or the Kowloon uh, breed of uh, vampire. And when they sink their teeth into you, and they drink your blood, you turn into one of them. Human and vampire alike turns into them. And that is just, it's just the, you know, the majesty of it, you know? Yeah, vampire versus vampire, and, and there's like a human aspect to throw into it. There are different classes of, you know, different houses. Uh, houses of vampires could be classified as gangs of of uh, of, to, of today. Just uh, use the biker gang, you know, the Comancheros, the uh, Hell's Angels, and the Coffin. And, uh, and and some and the uh, the nomads just to use those three three uh, base uh, bikey you know bikey but yet but yet they respect each other and when a vampire comes into town they do anything and I mean anything to get that one extra vampire into their midst. It's just like, you know, if a biker came, you know, rolled, it, rolled into town and there's three different ones here. One could be called, you know, like, let's just, let's, leave, let's just leave it at that, you know. The Comancheros, the Hell, the Nomads, and the Hell's Angels, you know. Like he has no colors on his back. There's no, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, this, this is a woolen, this is like a knitted, like a, a woolen vest. But, um, if you, if you like that, you know, there's something like, you know, I, I, I walk right in or I ride into town. No colors. I've got, ooh, we, I, we could get him, you know, what's up there? But you know, it'll be a bit of a warring thing. You know, different, different, you know, different uh, factions want you want your attention. But yet, yeah, the government also wants you to be on their side because you are the best and the world and a, a renowned. Uh, but this is as I'm using the bikey scenario. You've been a part of, you know. The Jordanian Desert Knights, or some other, th or, or some other gang, like some biker gang, and, and that, and you get, and you have a reputation, but yeah, the government wants you to be on their side to uh, uh, bikey like this biker gang where they want to kill other biker gangs, or if you don't become them, you you will die. This is the to use more of a modern term, like a, a lot real world term uh, thing for this uh, TV show. But there's one problem. Vampire, vampires can't enter the special zone unless if they get uh, invited from a from uh, from this from this governmental organization. Which let me see if they. Uh, Mimiko. Mimiko. Uh, let me see. Uh, yep. There she is, right there. Uh, she has to be invited into the area. As as like you know like a. It's like putting cling film around food when you're going to a picnic. Ants come, they see food. Mmm, bon. They go like, okay, can't get into that one. So, let's carry on. They, go, bum, bum. They, they see food, but they can't get into it. That is what it's like for, uh, for these vampires. You can't cross that barrier, which is on a bridge. 
like one side of the bridge, vampires can walk around. Uh, in the other side of the bridge, vampires can walk around. But in the middle of that bridge, over the water, is is that is that barrier where vampires can't come in, vampires can't come out. Unless you are invited to come in, invited to go out, type thing, you know? But man, in every episode, there is an epic battle in one form or another. And when you got gunplay and swordplay in the same thing, I'm more towards the swordplay things, that's what got me hooked onto this, uh, actually got me into the Black Blood Brothers. It, oh, it is a, oh man, there's so many different very oh, analogies I can use for it. It's a, it's a five star, no, pro, it's, 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 it's a no, pro, it's, a, it's a no brainer. Boy, there's. He's looking at, and there's there's different themes in there too. Like you know, got there's reincarnation. There's um, emperors. There are wizards. There's werewolves. There's oh, you're looking at you. You look at a particular horror thing. It could be in there. But for the main hero of it, and um, this is at the front of my place, he has to do this in this, in this wet, more, more like sunny weather. He has to go around looking like this. And holding a sword with the other hand. Pretty impractical, if you ask me. Let me just skip this down and start fighting, shaking. There. Just imagine, yeah. Oh, he like any typical vampire. Sunlight kills him or drains him, you know. You know, it fries it. It's not like the, the typical vampire where as soon as like the sun hits you, you burn up. You know, go Whoa! and that's like like your fang. It's just like, like like a charred skeletal remains. But in this one, he can't fight in the sun. Oh. A bir couple birds, <laughs> and also water. It's pretty overcast now. It's sprinkling a bit. I'm undercover, but if I was if I was him and I was out there, it'd be like uh, someone getting like a BB gun, you know, shooting little ball bearings at at me, and you know? it it will kill. It will sting. Or if I had like several paper cuts on one arm, get a bottle of alcohol, pour it on. That it's just it's a mixture of those two uh, feelings, you know, like like a like a puncturing pain along with a burning pain. That's that's what I could uh, imagine. Or also salt. Oh, and lemon juice and all that other stuff in the in the open wounds. But man, this the fight scenes in there beautiful. But I would not recommend. Uh, well, the according to the uh, according to um, this storyline. If a vampire bites you, you get. M it'll make sex. 
look like look like a mere hugging or 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 mere holding of hands. And to, to you people who have to you anime fans who have had you know sex just imagine that holding hands but the sex thing been amplified to like If you're saying those little toy cars that you can never like an engine, like a little gun to spin the tires so fast and you let like, go of it with another trigger and that zooms off. It's just, or even that little zoom would be nothing compared to like the raw, like the raw grunt of a four wheel drive and the speed of the fastest of the fastest the of the, of the fastest fighter jet you see like this and the speed and all this adrenaline coming up uh, also top off something when you when you eat eat like um, your favorite food if your eyes roll on the back of your head when you eat steak Imagine that amplified to a point where you, where your body's just racing with this feeling of pleasure, of ecstasy. I'm combining that as well, like, impounding that as well. Um, It's like all these, you know, different things, you know, piling on top of, you know, different, like, emotions and things like that being amplified to a un an unknowing sense, which will make it, which is far superior to the, to sexual intercourse. So, it says what the, um, story said, so, the, uh, Black Blood Brothers informs us. Yeah. So, oh, neighbors. As I'm doing this outside, so there's bits of distractions. Man. Let's see. Yumiko gets bitten by Juro, and you'll see what happens. Just imagine the most pleasurable thing you can do where all your body turns to jelly and you won't be able to walk for at least a good three to four hours afterwards <laughs> but the story but the epic battles I won't tell you anything about the storyline this the main I just told you bits and pieces of it but you, you have to watch it to get the full gist of it I picked it up for about 30 odd dollars from this from the same from JB Hi-Fi it was about 30 34 35 dollars but you know bought it boom th down 30 bucks you know sweet so yeah I suggest you pick it up. Mm. It it is a good watch. And you will be surprised to at the end of it, you'll be truly surprised and truly loving the surprise in its entirety well that's the end of well before I forget it's a five it's a it's a five out of five for me now let me say so long and farewell and hope you pick up these beautiful titles